sun, diameter 865,000 miles. The Sun is a main sequence star, type G, and controls a vast system of satellites. Closest to the Sun, Mercury. Mean distance, 36 million miles. Sunrise on Mercury heralds a daylight period of scorching heat lasting 88 Earth days. Pluto, the ninth planet. The sun is four billion miles away and is seen as just a bright star. time this transmission reaches you, let's see now, that'll be about five hours from now. We'll be well on our way home. Man, we're sure looking forward to seeing Earth again. I think I'm just going to sit back and look at trees for about six months. See, that comet tail's getting bigger all the time. I guess you'll be seeing it long before you see us. On each successive passage around the sun, a comet is diminished, losing the matter pushed away to form its tail. Meteor showers in the Earth's atmosphere have marked a comet's final orbit. Other smaller particles flowing from the sun make a different kind of temporary display in the night sky. The moon is always present. Showing a paraloon of 9.4 nautical miles, a balloon of 46.7 nautical miles. Shut off velocity showing about 5,537 feet per second. Toro, diameter one mile, Earth's second moon. How many core tubes this time? We'll use another six. There's still room for a few more rock samples, too. Impact craters indicate that in the past, the Earth may have had other minor moons. Ninety-three million miles from the sun, the sensitive biosphere of the third planet, Earth. Closer to the sun, at 67 million miles, Venus is hidden beneath a permanent carbon dioxide atmosphere. Unmanned instrument probes have penetrated to the surface. Before transmission was lost, conditions were recorded. Temperature, 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Pressure, more than 100 Earth atmospheres. Mars, in orbit, more than 48 million miles beyond the Earth. Phobos, the closer moon, comes within 3,600 miles of the Martian surface. Control, this is Phobos Base. A new dust storm is developing in the Solus Lacus region, moving northeastward towards Sinai. Moving pretty fast, too. 
I'm shutting down stereo mapping for now. I'll let you know how it looks on the next signal acquisition. Between Mars and the next planet, Jupiter, there is a gap of 300 million miles. The gap isn't empty. It contains the asteroids, known to number many thousands. They range from a few hundred yards to a few miles in diameter. Reference asteroid R427, classification C2. Orbit inclination confirmed as 8.3 degrees. Core samples show a very high nickel iron content. Detailed metallurgical analysis follows. Copy. Some asteroids have exceptional orbits, a few even approaching Earth. A kind of perspective that's becoming more familiar. Also familiar, so commonplace in fact, that we take for granted man's capacity to adapt to new environments. There's one environment that will prove too demanding. Jupiter, big enough to contain a thousand planets the size of Earth. Any one of its 12 moons would prove more accessible. This is confirming the longitudinal drift in the red spot. The spot and the light band below it have a rotational period almost five minutes slower than the equatorial zone. Nine hours, 55 minutes, 35 Beyond Jupiter, 886 million miles from the Sun, one of the most unusual features of all the Sun's worlds, the rings of Saturn. Crystals of ammonia ice, fragments of what was once a moon, or do they have another, as yet unsuspected, origin? Twice as far from the sun as Saturn, the five moons of Uranus circle its radically tilted equator. A billion miles more remote, dimly lit Neptune. Beyond, even darker Pluto. And beyond Pluto, how many more satellites are held captive in the sun's long gravitational grasp? However many worlds there may be, only the Earth follows an orbit at a distance from the sun where the sun's energy can support life. Further out is death from cold. Closer in, death by fire. 
we can see only the surface evidence of the forces raging within the sun as it consumes itself at a rate of four million tons every second. Hydrogen fusing into helium. Mass continually becoming energy. The energy it radiates throughout its far-flung system. The energy which makes life possible on the most favored of all its satellites, the third planet. Earth.